guys hey y'all okay guys so i'm back with another video today guys okay as i said i'm gonna keep making videos because i enjoy it and as i said guys these topics that i talk about i'm helping you guys and i'm also helping myself we're in this journey together okay for everybody that understands like my videos are about self-care things like mental issues like dealing with stuff like anxiety and stuff like that which are I have more videos coming up about stuff like that guys but today's video is going to be about not uh, well forgiving yourself for being you if that, sound, that even sounds right. I'm going to have to see how I can change that topic around, guys. But anyways, on with the video. So today is cloudy outside and the sun keeps coming out every now and then. And what else? This is my hair just back puffy today. Okay, guys. So on with the video. So guys, you know how sometimes in your life where you constantly keep saying you're gonna change you're gonna change and stuff like that you don't like this you don't like that all right so one day you just jump up and boom out of nowhere it happens right okay um you know what you want you know how you plan to change it and how you're gonna take steps to get there so you can put a smile on your face sometimes and you could be more happier and don't always walk around moping moping and you know just feeling sad and stuff like that because guys, you know what? And you will be shocked because if I can say this, then I think anybody can say this. But there are some days that you can actually be happy, okay? Being that I am a sad person most of the time just because of stuff that has happened in my life and stuff like that. But I realize, you know, I can't always keep thinking about stuff that has happened and thinking about my past and letting my past stop me and hurts and... Even with the fact that my mom passed, that's a really tough one, okay? So I do have breakdowns and cry still about that and will always do that because that's something that will never get better. And I may have my days about that where I don't want to talk to anybody, I don't want to deal with anybody, and I'm just not going to do it, okay? Because at those times, I need time to myself. So with the exclusion of the thoughts, because that's just always going to happen, but I did realize that, you know, I don't have to take it so hard like I take, like I took it, you know. I don't know how to really put it, guys, because when it's something so deep, you know, it's hard for you to really explain. So we're just going to say about the mom, my mom's issue about that. Um, You know, when she passed, it kind of took a part of me, right? So... I will always be down about that, of course, but I cannot, and I know she would not want me to stay in one spot and just think that she passed, you know? At some point, I would have to get up and move it along, which is why I started my soul searching in the first place, because I'm taking steps to move along, you know, and not stay there, because sometimes when bad stuff happens to us, we can stay there, you know? All right, so... Do you know that when you decide to move along, decide to change, decide to do things differently, decide to go out and seek happiness for yourself, to make things, to make you smile, make yourself a little bit happier. Um, people around us are not going to understand, okay? Only we understand because we're going through a journey, okay? And if we're going through a journey, nobody is going to understand our journey sometimes like me the journey that I'm going through sometimes it is I can tell you what journey I'm going through but it's it's kind of hard like different stages it's kind of hard as I'm going through the soul searching so it's kind of unexplainable but sometimes to be honest with you I really don't want to explain to anybody that's how I know that this is going to have good results and bring me good progress which is as I'm not really talking about it too much but on here I talk about it it's like I'm seeing a lot of stuff as I said before my eyes but 
I've been changing and I've been noticing it. Like I've been thinking more differently. I'm feeling more stronger. I'm feeling more fearless, you know. So, I'm not sure. I Well, I know people see it and can tell, you know. And I can feel it and I can tell myself. But along come the way where people that I deal with will start asking questions. And I don't always feel like I need to explain. You know, I've told you guys, you know, I'm going through, uh, what, soul searching. I'm having an awakening. And it's lasting for a long time because it was so much that I needed to wake up and see in my life. So my journey is probably going to be going on, like I said, for years. But I don't owe, if I want to change, I don't owe anyone an apology. I mean, to be kind and sweethearted like I am, I could say, okay, well, I'm sorry that I'm changing, but it's not something to be sorry about. It's something that I want to do. Like, if I choose to not do something anymore and you want to do it, just because you're my friend or just because we do this together doesn't mean that I have to stay stuck and still do it. Maybe I found out there there's something wrong about it. Maybe I found out it's something better that I want to do. I'm probably not interested anymore to not be mean, guys, because I will never be mean to my friends in that way to tell them I just don't want to do it, you know, and not give them an explanation. It's just I don't want to do it. It's like I see more. I see different. I want different. I, You know, I want to experience this. And there's no harm. But people will come people in your life will try to make you eventually say i'm sorry and when you really think about it it's like what am i saying i'm sorry for am i saying that i'm sorry for making my life more better or making myself more happy or doing stuff that make me happy no i can't apologize for that i can only tell you the process what i'm doing and I can tell you my reasons and you know if you are really for me and on my side you could say oh okay that's great you know I understand you probably don't but with people you never probably get that the people will always ask questions and then make you feel bad because you want to be different because you choose to live a different life because you feel like it's best for you but never feel like you have to even if you do just to be kind and say you're sorry you know you know you Go, you're headed someplace better so even if you're being kind to even say that you're sorry or something like that never feel that that is something that's going to stop your life because people have questions because they give you reasons as to why you should still say stay the same person if a person in your life is literally wanting you to stay the same when you're telling them i want to improve i want to be better i don't want to do this anymore especially if it's harming somebody or if it's mentally harming someone as long as it's not those two things guys you're on the right path okay as long as you're not mentally or physically harming anybody being rude or whatever making people feel bad your choice of how you want to live your life is just totally fine okay you're not hurting anyone and after all you have to live your life not them so sometimes people will try like your friends and stuff will probably try to pull you back sometimes and say things like you used to do this well this is how you used to be oh really like try to doubt you and say stuff like oh really are you really gonna change okay well i doubt it you do this you know so you definitely have to be strong enough to not apologize for who you want to be and not pay attention to what other people say if it's something you want to change go ahead and change it if the other people don't get it then sometimes you just have to put an x on them or maybe talk to them less or probably get them all the way out of your life because some of them probably don't even deserve to be in your life anyways if they're not going to support you and understand what you're going through and while you're going through it they're trying to bring you down and remind you of your past when I simply said in one of my videos do not look back now I don't mean don't look back but that's another video I'm not even going to get into it because I told you guys I have a wandering mind that gets off topic all the time so anyways back on topic with the situation of forgiving yourself okay 
you don't have anything to forgive yourself about if you want to change um you're simply doing better for yourself and you simply want better for yourself so what is there to be apologetic about i don't understand there's nothing you know why you're doing it and the heck with what everybody else says okay if they don't feel that you should make your life better or they don't understand they're not your real friends anyway because your real friends would want you to be better and in when you catch on even if they didn't catch on the minute you go and say well i feel like i want to be better i feel like i don't want to do these type of things anymore to be honest with you if they're going on the right path in their life they don't have to do the exact same thing that you do they could either be happy for you or they could get on board because everybody have some kind of flaws about themselves that they need to change and everybody have some kind of obstacles in their life that is stopping them from moving forward where they where where they need to be to me i feel like a lot of times people they eventually get to their calling but by the time they get to their calling it's like they've been dragged they've been all kind of stuff like dragged hurt just all kinds of things when you simply if you take a lot of stuff out of your life and you try to listen just listen just be quiet and listen and observe sometimes it would be easy for you to find your calling or it could be easy for you to find your direction in life what will be what is what is making you unhappy a lot of times and most of the time guys i'm sorry to say but 